Hi guys, it's Jamapati. Welcome to another Minecraft Mind tour. Today, I'm going to teach you how to add achievements. Now, achievements is a new thing to me. I haven't done achievements before. Like a tutorial on it at all. And first thing that you want to do is get an achievement handler. And this is where you're going to do all of your achievement stuff. Now, what you want to do is make it so that for your mod, you have like its own page. Now, Minecraft has its own page where it just says all the Minecraft achievements. But we want our own page. So what we're going to do is going to add some methods to register an achievement, which will automatically add it to our list. Because you have to have a list of achievements to register to a page. So, private static list of achievement called achievement equals a new array list achievement like so so if we press control shift o you want to call java.util.list and basically we're just saying this is a list of stuff we want some private void so private static void create achievement and you want a string name an int column and an int for a row and we also want an item item I'm going to open it up and we're actually going to need let's input that by the way you're going to need three methods of these so so just copy and paste that and the reason why it's free because you can have a block and you can also have an item stack. So control shift out to import all of these. And what you want to do is I forgot to say these aren't voids, these actually retur return the achievement. So just make it that. So it has to return an achievement, not nothing. And what we can do is return a new achievement and the first thing is actually the stat ID, so it's achievement dot, and then it's the name. The second one is the name, column, row, and then we're actually going to do the item one, so that's just item, parent, we're going to cast this to an achievement, nothing. There is going to be no parent. Now, that's say you'd call this if, say, you want it so that you unlock this achievement but you can only unlock the next achievement until you get the previous achievement so say we're going to add an achievement for when you have like tin all of our tin armor on but we could say you can't unlock that achievement unless you've got all tin tools or something but for now in these methods we're just going to have it like this you can add another method which does add the parent and like so, I forgot to change that to a block. <laughs> now we're going to add a public static void called register achievements. Now this is going to form our achievement page and register it. So the way that we're going to do this is achievement array. Now it has to be an array for it to read it, but it's easier to put stuff in a list and then convert it to an array. For us, so I'm going to call it achievement array, and that's equal to a new achievement array. And in here, this is the length of it, so it's just achievements dot then the size, so the size of the achievements. So if there's one achievement, it'll be a one long array. And array is just like it's like a sort of like a list, but like I prefer a list, but you have to do it as an array. Um, yeah. Next, we need to call a for loop, which is going to iterate through all of our achievements. So, achievement, achievement, in the achievements list here. So, it's going to go through all of the achievements in this list, and we need to do achievement dot, and then you've got to call register stat. So, we've got to register it, like so. And then we need to put it into the array. So achievement array. We don't need to say which position, which is actually uh, achievements dot index of, and then the achievement. 
and that's equal to the achievement. So that's just saying that find whatever value it is. So say it's the first achievement in this list, it will say the first thing in this array should be uh, it's going to say the first thing is equal to that achievement, like so. So you want to do achievement page dot register achievement page new achievement page and like so the name I'm just going to call this reference dot mod dot name and then the achievement and then here it should be achievement array and then it will actually like that I actually forgot here to add the achievement to list which is very smart of me so I'm going to just do achievement achievement equals and I'm just going to move all of this here because obviously it takes in the achievement and all we need to do is achievements dot add achievement that's why we couldn't see it smart me so I can just add this so that's all the methods that we need to do to like create an achievement we just need to call this in our main class now I'm going to call this after register renders all I want to do is achievement handler dot register achievements and that will register all of our achievements now all we need to do to make a new achievement is public static achievement and I'm going to call this achievement uh, tin man and you might get the reference um, and just create achievement it's just an item is what I'm going to do the name is going to be tin man column is zero zero so it's going to be bang in the middle and the item is going to be mod armor dot and I'm just going to put it for tin helmet like so and that's actually uh, achievement done but we need to actually trigger our achievement now in here we're gonna trigger our achievement so we're gonna do on on armor tick so this is every time the armor ticks and we're just gonna do a stack stack here so what I've actually got is in the description of this video you'll be able to find this method here or this code here which will actually do everything for us and uh, iterator is java.util.iterator and I'm just going to call this I'm going to leave this as item stack so I'm going to explain to you what this code does and why it is this code so we want to do is we've got a number saying how many of our tin arm pieces has the player got on now by default it's just zero the player won't have any of our tin armor pieces on probably we want but we want to check whether it's got all four of our armor pieces on and this this bit here is what checks it so we're checking whether the player has definitely got armor on so the armor inventory list is not nothing then we're going to get an iterator which is sort of how form loops work we're iterating but we're getting an iterator from this list and what we're doing if we're checking if there's another thing that we can check and if there is another thing that we can check we run this so we get that thing that we can check then we check if it's not nothing then we check if the item is an instance of item mod armor so basically it's one of our armors and then we get the item but we get it instance to like reflected onto our armor so we're saying that this the item is actually this class here so we can run just we can just that's like another way of checking and then what we're going to do is we're going to test if the item's armor material is actually um the tin material so i'll show you that here it's just checking whether it's got this so it's definitely tin 
then if that piece is, we're going to add one to this and then continue the while loop. So then it's going to run it all over again. And what we're going to do here is if we've got all four of them, we're going to check if the player hasn't, that's what the exclamation mark means, it means inverse. So if the player dot has, so we're checking if the player's got the achievement, achievement dot tin man here. But because the exclamation mark is saying if it hasn't, so if it doesn't, then we add the achievement. Because there's no point giving the player an achievement twice. So, uh, you can also do this with events and do stuff with events. Hopefully in the later tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make an update checker. Because I, I've actually figured that out now, how to get an update checker. It's actually quite sweet. And it does actually sort of use achievements as well. Like a thank you message comes up, but I'm, I'm not going to say any more because I don't want to ruin that. And we should be able to run the game, and we should be able to get an our, our achievement. We should get it straight away, because I believe we've still got the armour on. So as soon as we log in, we'll get the achievement. Okay, so the game is loaded up. So let's actually go inside of our test world. I forgot what it's called then. Um, <laughs> great start. And achievement.tinman. Invalid statistic slash achievement. Now, you're getting this, because the game's like, wait, what? You haven't called it anything. Bit of everything, by the way. It's invalid. Because there's no name. Oh, no. So, the way to fix this is I'm just going to quit game. We need to actually go into our language file. And inside of here, we need to actually say our achievement. So, achievement.tinman is equal to tin man achievement dot tin man and then you need to do dot desk for description uh where all tin armor like so now we should be able to run our game and it should be valid okay so the game is loaded up so let's just go inside of our test world and we should be able to see the achievement working entirely and in the achievement page so we get the achievement, Tin Man. And if you just go to achievements, bit of everything, Tin Man, wear all tin armor. Now, at the moment, because I've already got it on, you can see it. Now, if I was to reload the game, you will get this achievement again. So I'm just going to leave this off. So you can actually check in the next tutorial that you should see that I don't get an achievement when I log in. Because obviously the player changes, and if I had this on, it returns true saying that i haven't got the achievements so yeah that's how to add achievements guys and i forgot to say if you look here where all tin armor our description is already there so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i am out